Prime Minister of Rivera High School. So I came to Rivera in 2017. I was offering the national program, and that was in Swan. And ever since that year, I've never seen a female Prime Minister in Rivera until now, which is me, the first female Prime Minister. I'm not going to say it was an easy action to take, but it was definitely worth it. And I want to silence all those primitive voices that say that girls are just meant to be quiet and silent and behind the curtain and doing just home chores. Whatever a man can do, a girl can do even better. Uh, I took the action of campaigning to be the first female prime minister and I had some I had a tough competition but it, it worked out well. And yeah, the Rivera community is such an empowering community to the girls. Uh, each year it celebrates the International Women's Day, which has impacted us in a lot of ways through a series of events taking place like girl outreach programs, girl talks, as well as sports activities. And I promise you that every girl lives Rivera knowing that they can make their dreams come true and they can build multiple nations. In this generation, girls have been given a shot. There are many countries and many governments that have given women the power to lead, which they've been doing very well. But there are also many voices out there, many primitive voices as I say it, that still think Women are not meant to shine. Women are not meant for the spotlight. And what the girl community in New York is trying to change is to silence those voices, not through words, but through actions, through making them see how much we can do. Not only because we're girls, but because we are who we are. You know, you're not supposed to be uh, identi identified just by your gender. So there are many voices out there that think a girl cannot become a pilot, a girl cannot become a president, a girl cannot become a soldier. But girls can. Girls can do what men can do, and even better. So to the voices out there who think otherwise, I'm sorry to you, but that is a literacy. So today, International Women's Day, we think it's breaking bias. That is a very relevant theme. That is basically. <laughs> what the gender imbalance is all about, the gender inequality is all about. Uh, it's about breaking the theory of the stereotype, the theory of thinking that women are just trophies, just objects, meant to stand and be dear, you know? Just meant to look at, yeah, they're beautiful, but that's it. There is more to a girl child, there is more to a woman than just their beauty. There is their thinking, their mind, their personality which is much more colorful, as much as see on the outside. So um, I just want to talk to the nations out there, to the fathers out there who always think that producing a son is much more effective than producing a girl, a daughter. That is, that is wrong. Every father and every mother out there should be excited about producing a girl because it's, it's different, they're trying to make a difference. You know, a daughter is a gift, a woman is a gift. See, when we go back to the story of Adam and Eve, yeah, we know that God removed Eve from Adam's room, that God met Eve from Adam's room. And people usually think that because the woman came from a rhythm of man, that they're meant to just be the assistants, be the, the tools that men step on, but no. God created a woman because he knew that this world would be nothing without a woman. This world would be nothing, Your, you all men would be nothing without the mothers that raised you. So as much as you respect your mothers, respect the girls out there too. Listen to them. They have a voice and their voice matters. Girls are not meant for home to perform chores. Girls are meant to change the world, to build nations, to lead nations. And that has to start now. And whatever small demonic voice that you, you're hearing saying that being a girl is a curse, 
stop that, mute that, because we are going to make a difference. We are going to rule the world one day. Let's go and start now. So to all the parents out there who are looking for a school, a community, a home, where not only their daughters but sons can get educated in all aspects, including the thinking, come to Rivera High School. Rivera High School is a home for a home. It's a community where everybody is given a chance, where everybody's voice is hard, including girls' voices too. So I'd like to give a big shout out to the Rivera, the, the girl of Rivera community, which has taken into account to make this day very special for each and every girl out there. So I wish you all 